Hey, what's up guys? Action here. So meron ako dito bagong AIO Liquid Cooler from MSI, which is their Mag Core Liquid E360. Nakita na natin ito before nung Computex 2023. And now, nandito na sa atin so that we can give you guys a quick review. On the box, you'll find the AIO cooler itself, as well as some fan cables, mounting kits, documentation, and of course, thermal paste. Clearly labeled naman lahat so hindi nakakalito which is nice. Now on the cooler itself. Una nyo mapapansin is the new black head which is also rotatable up to 270 degrees para maitatama natin yung orientation despite how we mount it on the motherboard. So pinalaki din nila yung contact areas between the copper base and the cooling elements ng water block as well as the surface area na dumidikit sa ating CPU for full coverage especially of the new CPUs with larger heat spreaders all in the name of better heat dissipation and cooling performance. Speaking of CPUs, this is compatible with the newer generation CPUs natively like the LGA 1700 and the AM5 sockets, as well as the new other Intel and AMD sockets. On the pump score, meron itong three-phase motor that generates minimal vibrations for longer lasting lifespan, as well as separated rooms or channels of cool and hot water to avoid mixing water temperatures, which would ideally help sa pag-reduce ng temps at the heat source. And sa radiator naman, it promises high thermal dissipation with its 12 pathways na dinadaanan ng tubig to help rapidly dissipate heat. Sa tubing, evaporation proof daw ito. So there's a multi-layer structure with reinforced mesh plastic tube which enhances its durability. And of course, we have 320mm na fans na may fluid dynamic bearing that helps reduce noise levels and vibration. PWM controllable din so adjustable ang RPMs either on the MSI center with some presets or pwede din sa BIOS. There's also grooves on the fan blades as well as low impurity acrylic construction for better ARGB lighting presentation which can be customized then syempre with the MSI Center software. Meron din itong anti-vibration rubber pads para mare-reduce ang vibrations nito pag nakamount na. Design-wise, I think simple looking siya as an AIO cooler. Pero functional which I think is much more important. And we got the ARGB lighting naman on both the pump block and the fans which can be customized then. Wala itong mga LCD or any other gimmicks that you can find on more expensive AIO coolers. And also available in two colors, black and white. So my choices lalo na kung balak nyong mag light colored or white build. So now that we are done talking about the features and design, it is time na for testing the cooler. We will not go highly technical here or compare. We'll just put it on a test bench and see how it performs using the Intel Core i7 13700K app as our CPU. On our testing, ginamit natin dito is yung thermal paste na provided on the box. So tinas namin siya on a gaming scenario with F122. I think this will also represent most games with regards to CPU performance and thermals. And on a 30 minute benchmark loop run, naglalaro yung temps natin within 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. While yung average lang yung CPU natin is 51 degrees and max out at around 80 degrees lang. However, during a synthetic load test on Cinebench R23, na-reach out natin yung maximum temperature na beyond 100 degrees. So nag-thermal throttle na si CPU natin to keep the temps down. But that really to a great extent where we lose a lot in performance. In fact, these latest generation CPUs kasi are designed to run hotter than before. So kung mapapansin nyo, parang ang dating niya is mainit lagi. Very hard to cool, but in fact, there are mechanisms and functions inside modern CPUs nowadays to protect itself from running too hot. So unless nagre-rendering kayo using your CPU instead of GPU, I think hindi naman nyo may encounter ito since this could be possibly a worst case scenario situation where all cores ay sagad sagaran ang usage. So kung naglalaro lang kayo, I think on most games, thermal throttling wouldn't be an issue with this AIO cooler. For the noise levels naman, it is more on the decent side I think. With the fans running at 1800 RPM default, it reached only around 47 to 49 decibels with a 1 ruler or 0.3 meter distance from the system unit. My option ka din to reduce it further using the provided noise reduction cable, which we've also tested and managed to reduce around 300 RPM on the fan speed, as well as around 3 to 4 decibels on the noise level. Sa pump noise naman, halos hindi na audible so okay yon. So in my opinion, the MSI Mag Core Liquid E360 AIO Liquid Cooler is MSI's new contender for their good value AIO cooler.
for the price of only 6,300 on the black version and 6,600 naman sa white version. You'll be getting a good value for it naman. A 360mm radiator and a RGB fans. Not much gimmicks but equipped with the features that na I mentioned ko earlier. And a performance level that can tame probably even the higher end CPUs on gaming. I think mas okay din talaga na gumamit ng 360mm AIO or beyond kung kaya pa for higher multi-core CPUs. Gusto ko din yung nag-include sila ng noise reduction cable on the box if you want more silent operation than the preset alone. Okay ito pero syempre it will increase the temperatures by around 2 to 3 degrees or higher depende sa heat source. Dahil mas babagal ang RPMs ng fans as a result of using the cable. Okay din yung rotatable blackhead nito kahit anong orientation i-mount ayos lang since maayos mo naman yung blackhead niya to orient correctly. And like I said earlier, available din ito on black and white variants. And my 240mm variant din nito, okay naman yun for a mid-range CPUs like our i5 or Ryzen 5 CPUs. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll wrap it section. So like the video, subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.